What is up guys, Sharpened here, and today I got a special treat for you. Come on boy, fetch! Oh, salty as hell. Yeah, no, not that kind of treat. Today I'm not doing my usual animation stuff, but rather something in Minecraft, which I also like to play. I promise you won't be disappointed. Okay, I want you to hit the subscribe button and we can get on the video, but first, let's wait for the intro. Yeah, what is a particle pack? The particle pack is a series of Minecraft structures which contain command blocks which have the animated particle commands and as you see there's a lot of them and we're gonna cover all of that in today's video. But first I want to guide you through the installation process. It's not complex, it doesn't mess anything up so it's pretty safe and easy I'm gonna show you how. So upon downloading the particle pack you will get this file, Sharpen's particle pack. Now as you see this is a zip file and if we actually want to make it useful we gotta extract it. So right click it, extract file. Else. Click OK, and you should get this folder here, which says Sharpen Sparkle Pack. Except now, now it's a folder and not a zip file. So I can just delete, delete the zip file because I have the folder here. And if I open this up, you will see three things. First, we have the names, which don't make any sense at the moment. Then we have the instructions, which I'm going to explain right now. And then we have this generated file, which contain multiple files and a bunch of structures. What you need to do. Okay, let me just create a new world, meatloaf, create world. Now we wait. Aye! Okay, so this is now a regular Minecraft world. Doesn't do anything, doesn't have any particles or such. Now I want to save this and close it. What I need to do now is run the command and type in percent, app data percent. Click enter. And this should open up your roaming folder. Now open up the .minecraft and saves. Now you should see this meatloaf world, which I just made, drag this generated folder in here. Once you have it in here, you can just open up Minecraft and launch meatloaf. Your particle pack is now in here already. What to do now? Okay, you gotta type in a command, give sharpened structure block. And this is what you're gonna use to get access to all the particles. Now I wanna place this sucker down and open it. Go to the load file and now we gotta input a structure name, which is from the list of names you will find in this folder. In here you have all the different names for each particle. Let's go for something random, let's go for shadow burst. Shadow underscore burst. Shadow underscore burst. Make the structure appear at a relative minus one position because I checked that it's that side. Show bounding box on, so I can see where the structure is gonna spawn. Include entities on. This is very important because some of the structures use entities, renamed armor stands, to initiate the commands to work properly. So if you want the particle pack to work, include entities to on. Now I'm gonna click load, and the structure should appear here. Okay, let me just, one second. Okay, yeah, let's say that's it, I fixed it. Now click load, and uh, voila, okay, I can just delete this now, and this, is now my particle. Once I click this button, the particles are gonna be running. So this is how you install them into your world. And now, I wanna show you the display. The particle pack was made possible using maths. This particle pack took me over 40 hours of countless calculations in math by the precision of five digits to make it possible. So please consider leaving a like on this video because it wasn't such a piece of cake to make. So in this video, I'm going through all the different particle effects which you just downloaded with the file which is by the way linked in the description for you to have completely free. I just wanna enhance your experience in Minecraft. Plus it's kind of fun watching these, I mean seriously. You're gonna see what I mean. Also, if you're familiar with my particle pack from before, because I already launched it in 1.2, 12, but it was outdated very fast, so I updated to 1.13, and uh, before you had to uh, delete the circuit and place the wires back, but this time they all work with just a simple press of a button. So I made your life a lot easier using this particle pack. One press of a button, it's here, then the other press of a button, it's gone. So if I just hop on to game mode viable, not creative, there we go, and we're, we can get on with this review. I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take some food for me. And the first particle is called Dragon Snowballs, which reminds me that I have to give myself some snowballs. And if I throw the snowball, nothing happens because I haven't turned on the particle yet. So if I turn this on, the second I throw the snowball, well, you see, Dragon Breath particles coming out of the snowball. But hey, it's a simple particle, okay? Now if I turn this off, let me just put these away. The next particle is called Flaming Arrows. If I give myself now if I turn this on, you will see that the arrows now cause 
flame particles to appear. I know what you're asking, no you can't use this to cook animals because it's not actual fire, it's just a particle. So the particle pack isn't supposed to interfere with the game, but just make it more interesting. So once you shoot the arrow, it's gonna display fire particles, but it's not gonna burn anything. The next particle is called Shadow Walk. If I turn this on, you will see a stream of smoke coming from beneath my feet. If you stand still, well, uh, it's gonna be mildly annoying to see, but, but hey, it's a particle, it's a simple particle. For those minimalistic people, don't worry, we'll get to more advanced and more awesome ones later. Next we have Rain Cloud, which is basically just what it says, it's a rain cloud, and the rain is kind of slow on me, but hey, it's a rain cloud. And that's it. Next we have God Walk, which is basically the reverse option of the rain cloud, except now the rain cloud is beneath your feet. And uh, that's it. Now, if you know the particle pack from before, this is a new particle, which I haven't added before, because this one is 1.13 exclusive, and it's called Illumination. Now, if I flick this on, you will see a little red flame following me on my right shoulder. And this is supposed to be like an Illumination, kind of a courtesy of the Avatar The Last Airbender, because I also like the show, but it is annoying if you turn around and you, all you see is this uh, red flame thing. Okay, now we've reached this white line, and that means from here on, we're going to be seeing animated particles. Now, these are the ones that actually took all the math. Now, if I just hop back into creative mode and open this up, as you see, each particle is being summoned by the precision five digits. <sighs> all the math. I painful. And look at all the command blocks. Like, I had to do math for each particle individually, look at them. Anyway, we're not here to rant about my hard work, we're here to show the particles. So the first one is called Angel Ring. If I press this button, you will see an angel ring on top of my head, look at this. Whee! Okay, it's gonna look derpy if you run, but hey, this is single player. And as I mentioned before, in this version, you can simply click the button and it's gonna turn off. Click the button, click the button, no more breaking wires and stuff, so this is very neat. Next one is called Party. Press this button, you can see basically colorful explosions following the light spectrum of a rainbow. It might get annoying though if you actually want to play with this, but it's not meant to be useful, it's meant to be fun. Press the button again and uh, it shall stop once it reaches the end. There we go. Next we have the Heaven Ring. If I press this button, as you see, a circle of clouds above my head and two little waves of particles just falling down in circles. Like, this is very nice. Okay, watch what happens when I jump. I have no idea why that happens, but... It's fun, I don't know. Okay, let's move on from this one. Next we have the Snow Aura. This is one of my favorites. It's very simple, but it looks very damn nice. So if I press this button, you can see... It doesn't obscure your view too much, like you can... You could be able to play a normal survival with this. And you have a Snow Aura, like, it's just a fun addition. Now we reached a bigger one, and it's called Fire Clover. If I press this button, watch closely, watch the ground. It's a fire clover, animated, look at this. Imagine I had to do the math for this, come on. Basically, it makes for nice patterns, even when you walk. Look at this, this one again. Next one, called Shadow Burst. If I press the button now, watch closely. Smoke particles on the ground, and there are four streams going up, and when they meet on the top, bam, they explode. I don't know what to say for this, stop. Stop. Okay, now we've reached the big one, yeah. And this one is called Fire Ring. Now, for those of you Mindplex players, you will recognize this instantly. This is the Fire Ring particle from Mindplex, which I recreated in Survival Minecraft. I mean, in, in Creative Minecraft, single player Minecraft. Two rings of fire following the character around, crossing each other's paths. I don't know, it's just some, something about this is very, very appealing. I just, I don't know, I love it. Please, Mindplex, don't sue me. Next up is another big one, and it's called Blood Helix. Yes, this is also taken from Mindplex. You shall see the amazing pattern I made here. Look at this. Slowly building up in the ground, going up, and... I love the shape. Doesn't look too bad when you walk, plus it reappears pretty quick. I don't know, I just... There's something about this particle, I don't know, it's just... Look at it! When I press this button, watch it disappear. Slowly going up, making its way on the top. Please tell me I'm not the only one that's amused by this. Next up we have the Blood Spiral. So if I press the button here, you shall see three rings of dark red smoke and when they meet in the middle they produce a flaming explosion. I don't know, it's just something fun. 
Next up, this is the last particle that I made in 1.12. If you know my particle pack, you should know this from before. It's called Dark Abyss. This one is a freaking beast. Look at the amount of particles, like seriously. Let's see what this is about. So press the button, you shall see six points going in, exploding, and then shifting to one slot on the right. Like they're making an endless cycle, but it's a hexagon shape and this took me a lot of time. A work of art, if I may say so. Yeah, but this is the last particle that was made in 1.12. Now we're moving on to 1.13 particles, which are exclusive to- can you stop? First one on the list is called Loading Bar. Yes, Loading Bar. Don't question me why I made this, I just made it. Press the button, you should see a loading bar around your cursor. Yes, look, it's- don't judge me, it's a loading bar. Cursor, I don't know. Next one, which was our, which is also new in this one, Rainbow Twirl. It doesn't use any special 1.13 mechanics, but it's pretty nice looking. You'll see why. Press the button and you will see a rainbow of particles going upwards. Might be 1.13 mechanics because it uses uses special properties of the new dust particle, which was harder to make before, but now it's pretty simple. Rainbow Twirl reminds me of My Little Pony for some reason, like Rainbow Dash. Whoa. Stop. I've seen enough. We've reached the line again, and that means we're in for smart particles. Those are truly something I love in this game. This one is called Air Leap. Let's see what happens when I turn this on. First thing you see is this text says early particles are now turned on. They should be working, but they're not working. Well, if you know my particle pack from before, you should know that smart particles need something in order to work. Like this is called air leap. You need to jump if you want to execute them. And this is how you turn them on. Like this is a smart particle. That's why, because only initiate when once something happens. Anyway, you're bouncing on clouds now. Okay, like I, I have enough of this. I got others to show off. Uh, the next one is called party leap. And it's basically the same thing, except party particles. <laughs> I would use these smart ones because they make the experience a lot better. Like, like, off. No more party particles. This next one is very interesting. It's called bleeding. Yes, it's called bleeding. Now, if I turn this on, obviously nothing's gonna happen if I jump because it's called bleeding. Once I reach one and a half particle, okay, like this is, can, you, can you please, I, uh, okay. Once I reach two and a half particles, which is now, I'm gonna start to bleed. My character is now bleeding. It took damage to make it realistic. Once I reach one and a half particles, or in this case one, I will start to bleed even heavier. I'm damaged, someone save me. And since there's no natural regeneration in this world, I gave myself some golden apples to get back my strengths. Come on there, buddy, you can do it. You can do it. Hey! I realized there was no stone button in this one, now there should be. Uh, next particle effect is called the Enchanter, but look at this! This is Bob the Armor Stand. This is the reason why you have to include entities on. Some of the structures use armor stands to initiate the commands. If I turn these on, obviously it's called the Enchanter, so you're gonna have to enchant if you want the particles to appear. I'm gonna give myself some levels and uh, take a few swords and lapis. Okay, I got myself an enchanting table ready for me to... Okay, well, don't, don't ruin this for me. Once I enchant with this... Actually, I got a better idea. I'm gonna press F5 so we can see it better. Once I enchant with this, I'm gonna enchant and then close it up so you can see what's going on. Nice. Okay, wait, I'm gonna do it again. I, I like it, it's pretty- look at this! Sorcery! Harry Potter, I'm your father! I just can't get enough. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's put these back. These last three are completely new, you haven't seen these yet. And this one is called Bloodshed. Wait, I gotta turn- I gotta turn this off, I always forget to turn them off. Okay, Bloodshed. Bloodshed, death, gore, this is where we're back. Okay, if I turn this on, so if I take a sword, which- one second. If I take a better sword, because I just enchanted them, why would I use a regular one? Like, seriously, I didn't think this through when I was setting this up. And uh, if I summon myself... Okay, let's put it back to easy. Oh, it's right here. So, <laughs> okay, when I kill anything, you will see gore particles. So, you know, this, this guy falls back down. Oh, it's a baby. I can't kill a baby. Gore! Okay, so whenever I kill something, you will see a circle of red stuff appearing around me and then slowly moving upwards and uh, look downwards you can see it slowly builds up and then goes up I don't know it's interesting now imagine fighting like a million of these guys 
fight me! Like, I'm on a killing spree, look at this. <laughs> Bloodshed. Okay, let's turn this off. Next up, we have damage. Seriously? Get the stupid golden apples. There you go, just a whole bunch of them. Can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, turn the damage on. What is this? Oh, this... This heals me! Okay, I, I figured this out way too late. Okay, the second you take any form of damage, you will display particles. Like, it's a burst particle, like the, like the one with bleeding, but it's like a short burst to make it look like you're actually bleeding. Like, can you leave me alone? Stop! Okay, one more for good measure. Look. Bleeding. Bleeding. Ouch. I am in pain. Someone save me. Go away. I'm a strong, independent woman who needs no man. Okay, turn this off. And now the last particle I want to display in today's video is called Shield Warrior. Shields are not getting enough attention, especially because of how freaking overpowered they are. They can block 100% of all damage. Wow, I gave myself more zombie pigment, but no shield. Give sharp wind. So this one works in a slightly different way. The second you block an attack, will be the second to initiate the particle. So I punch this guy. Watch closely, because when I block this guy's attack, I will initiate the particle. Look at this. Oh yeah, like lava. Oh, oh, this guy deals a ton of damage. Okay, I got, I got to regenerate. Thank you. <laughs> Bam! Now imagine fighting a skeleton with this. Wait. Fight me. Ooh. Again. <laughs> it's something to keep you busy in your Minecraft world. Okay, seriously? Rain again? Okay, someone doesn't like me. Basically, guys, this is the particle pack. Upgrade to 1.13, no longer destroying circuits, basically buttons, plus a few new particles, and some of them are exclusive to 1.13. So, if you want to download this thing, the link is in the description, I recommend it because it's a lot of fun, like you just saw what I'm doing, if you want to have this in your world, go ahead, it's completely free, have fun with it. Now I will go back to my animation stuff, but this is something I really wanted to show you guys. Thank you for watching, and stay sharp.